Kevin, if I can just summarise um, what we've talked about so far. So my understanding is that your wife, Lydia, had felt quite strongly about you coming into therapy mm. and that you're not quite sure why she's so upset, but you don't want to lose the marriage and so you just agreed to come along. Mm. And so you and Lydia have been married for about eight years That's now. Right. Yeah, about and eight years. Yeah, and you've got two little ones, mm -hmm. four-year-old and six-year-old. That's right. Yeah, they're yeah. both boys. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. When you smile like that, it sounds like you, it looks like you really enjoy being a dad. Oh, they yeah, they're good kids most of the time. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, great right. boys. So, Kevin, what I need you to do for me is just help me understand some kind of like points that you've made that aren't quite hanging together for me. So, you mentioned earlier on that you and Lydia do a lot of fighting and it often starts with her actually complaining about you not doing enough around the house or issues like that. Mm. And you said that there's kind of quite a bit of shouting that happens between the two of you mm. and that sometimes there's even a bit of pushing and shoving happening. I mean, sometimes, but sometimes. it's not, not that serious. It's right, okay. Mm. But yeah, but also when I just asked you a couple of minutes ago about whether you think that it's a it's a, an aggressive relationship between the two of you. You said no, not at all. You just thought it was a normal relationship. Mm, that's right. I mean, we're not yeah, we're not aggressive towards each other. I mean, it, we have arguments, but every all couples have arguments. It's yeah, yeah. I think that's true. I guess it's just so that you and I can get a shared idea about what we think is aggressive and what couples generally do. Mm. So, can you describe to me perhaps? the time when you felt that you were most aggressive towards Lydia? What happened then? Well, I don't know that it was just me being aggressive. Sure. Um, well, that was probably the incident that we talked about about two or three months ago. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we'd, it was a Sunday or Saturday afternoon. We'd had a, a couple of beers um, and, um, you know, we... I suppose you know, we just had a bit of an argument about the the kids and um, you know, whether they should be allowed to you know, stay out in the backyard as late as they were staying out. Mm -hmm. you know, that's about all. Mm -hmm. So can you describe to me exactly what happened? When you say you argued, what kind of behaviours were you acting out towards each other? Were you shouting at each other? Oh, yeah, we... Yeah, we yeah, there was some yelling for sure, but mm. yeah, both of us were both yelling at each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. Earlier on, when you came and you said to me that one of Lydia's issues is that she sometimes feels scared around you. Mm. Can you help me to understand why she might feel scared? Um. Well, I mean, when we argue, it's yeah. I mean, our voices get raised, I suppose, and I, I don't know, maybe she gets a bit frightened when I'm really in her face um, sometimes. Yeah. What, what do you mean by really in her face? Well, I mean, sometimes when we argue, we, we're pretty close together when we're... So you mean literally in her face? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But as I said, I mean, it's not just me. I mean, we're yelling at each other in these sort of situations. and it, I mean, it might be me that sometimes moves a bit closer to her, but... Mm. You know, that's just, mm. we're just arguing, you know. So it sounds that you feel that you both contributing equally to the um, negativity in the relationship, the tension in the relationship. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Yeah. yeah, so it's not something you doing more of or creating more of a problem, that it's something that you're both doing together. That's right, yeah, that's the way I see it. Mm. Yeah. Do you think that's the way that Lydia sees it? Well, I mean, she, yeah, I mean, she seems to get a bit easily intimidated, I think, sometimes. She's a bit, um, I don't know, I think she just makes a big deal out of it when it's probably not that much of a big deal, you know. She um, she just thinks that couples should never argue, that, that the arguments shouldn't kind of go the way that they do. So it doesn't sound like you're scared of her? No. No. no, no. So her experience of fear and anxiety is very much hers of, of your behaviour. Yeah. And she clearly doesn't think that she's making a big deal out of it because by the sounds of it, she's 
clearly made an ultimatum of that she is willing to leave and take the two boys with her. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go back to that Sunday afternoon. So we're yelling at each other. Was mm -hmm. there any physical contact between the two of you? Oh, not to start with, but uh, I mean, towards the end, I think when we were really close, you know, there, there might have been a little bit of pushing and shoving. Yeah. Can you say more? If if I was watching that Sunday afternoon scene, if I was a fly on the wall watching it, mm. what would I have seen? Well, you would have seen us yelling at each other, and then yeah, like I said, there's a bit of pushing and a who, yeah. Who would have advise, who would have been doing the pushing if I was watching it? Yeah, probably would have been me. Right, mm. right. Did she fall over when you pushed her? Oh. Yeah, we I mean we'd had a few drinks though, so you know, we it was probably more that you know, she was a, had 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 a few drinks herself and you know, lost her balance because of that. I would think you know it wasn't like it wasn't like I picked her up and threw her or anything. You know, it was it was just a bit of pushing. You know. When you talk about it, given it sounds as though you don't see the seriousness is in, in the behaviour. Well. It, but like I said, it was just an argument. And it, mm. All couples have arguments, and you know, it, uh, sure. I mean, it, maybe I went too far, and maybe we, you know, I shouldn't have been pushing. Uh, but you know, it, it's, it's not like we'd been each other up with sticks or anything. You know, it was just an argument, and because we'd had a few drinks, it got to a bit of pushing and shoving. Did you hit her that day? Oh. She would say that I did, but you know, I, I think it was more, you know, in the kind of scuffle, the, you know, maybe accidentally struck her. Yeah. Mm. And at any other time, have you ever hit her at any other point? It's not something that happens often. You know, it's How often would you say it happens? I don't know, a couple of times a year, maybe, maybe a bit more. Mm -hmm. Were the children around on that Sunday afternoon? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what, they were, um, that's what we were arguing about, whether they right. should have been allowed to stay outside or mm -hmm. whether they had to come in, so we brought them inside. I mean, I went and brought them inside because I didn't think they should have been out there. Right, okay, so they witnessed this fight between you and Lydia? Uh, they would have heard it. Right. Yeah, but I don't think they would have seen it. I'm right. not sure. And other times would they have seen those kind of fights? Yeah, they're around sometimes right. when we when we argue. Yeah. Does that worry you? Um, thinking about it now, it, that's probably not ideal. But at the time, I suppose I didn't really. You know, we were arguing, so I wasn't really thinking mm. too much about whether the kids were seeing it. Mm. Is that how it happens for you, that you get caught up in the heat of the moment and that you don't think very much about other kids around, what's happening, mm. those kind of issues? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Mm. Is it often associated, you were saying that both of you were drinking on that afternoon, mm -hmm. is that common, that there's some mm. alcohol involved? Yeah. yeah. In the instances you can think of that the two of you get into a fight and you might be doing some shoving or even hitting, is there always alcohol involved, or just sometimes? Or Probably most of the time, most I'd of say. The time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, what do you think Lydia is hoping for? I know she's in the waiting room, waiting for you. What do you think she's hoping for from this discussion between the two of us? I, I suppose I think that she just wants us to argue less and like you said she gets a bit frightened sometimes with my temper and where it goes. Right. Mm. You don't sound completely sure about that. Well like I said to you, I mean it, we were a couple and you know, we have great times and we've had a lot of great times, we still do. And and we argue, just like mm. couples do as well. And mm. You can't expect always 
have everything all rosy and you know, sometimes couples have arguments and that's, that's all it is. You know, we argue. So it sounds like you're happy enough with the relationship as it is. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't say I enjoy the arguments no. and you know, want, you know, want them, but you know, they're just a... Mm. You know, they're just a fact of being mm. a couple, you know, we mm. argue. Yeah. So how willing would you be to address some of these issues, even though I can see that you don't think that they're as serious, obviously, as Lydia is taking them? How willing would you be to address them? Well, I think I have to. You know, it's... I've been told that I, I, if I don't, then... You know, then I, the family's going to break up. Right. And, I definitely don't want that. Right. So what are your feelings about Lydia basically giving you an ultimatum? I mean, I don't... I don't... I, well, I stand by what I said before. You know, I, I think it's just part of being a couple and I think she's been a little bit um, over the top by saying that. I mean, mm. sure, we could maybe talk through some of our problems and try and argue a bit less, but I don't know that it needed to be under the threat of taking the boys away and, you know, mm. breaking the family up. So there's a fundamental difference between the two of you in terms of how seriously you see your behaviour and the consequences of that. And I'm wondering what you and I will be able to do um, whilst you believe that oh, this is Lydia exaggerating the issues rather than you feeling, no, actually this probably is a problem. I independently think that it's an issue. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, I'm happy to work so that we keep the family together. I'm happy to you know, try and argue a bit less and you know, maybe try and make sure that Lydia doesn't get as frightened when we do argue. Um, yeah, I can do that, I suppose. This interview with Kevin was really an example of working with a mandated client, and by that we mean a client who probably hasn't come in through their own free will. In this case, his wife, Lydia, made an ultimatum that unless he came into therapy, she would be leaving the relationship. So in a way, we've got an, another client in the room, Lydia. Even though she's not physically here, her presence is very much felt by the therapist because we know she's sitting out there in the waiting room or at home or wherever she might be expecting that this psychologist is going to be able to make a significant difference to her husband's behaviour. So in these kind of situations with mandated clients, it's particularly important to be able to build a good rapport with the client because they don't really want to be here. They don't really see what the problem is. And although Kevin didn't act overtly in any way hostile or defensive about being here, he couldn't really see the point. And so I needed to put special emphasis on that relationship with him. Of course, the issue is that he was behaving in ways as it unfolded during the session that were really quite aggressive and not appropriate. Um, but I was hoping that my judgment of those behaviours would not be overt so that he felt that I was criticising him or judging him because that would be a real risk of him closing down. So what I was trying to do then is, is build rapport, maintain rapport with him, to not judge him, but at the same time to get as much information as I can. In the back of my mind, I was wondering about what the extent of his aggressive behaviour was towards Lydia and the children. And so part of that um, segment was an example of an exploration of um, aggressive or domestic violence type of behaviour. You would have noticed that during the session, that um, Kevin really demonstrated two of the major defences during domestic violence situations, that he was minimising the um, effect and extent of his behaviour and also minimising the consequences of it and to some extent also denying issues. So he wasn't that forthcoming. It needed to almost... One had to ask the right questions for him to acknowledge that he'd even hit her. So he would acknowledge some of the things that he thought wasn't too bad, like 
pushing and shoving and shouting and also initially he was saying that it was both of them. It was only after some time with very specific questioning that he acknowledged that it was largely him, particularly with the more intimidating behaviours, which is fairly typical of doing an interview in domestic violence. Um, part of that was also an attempt at a motivational assessment to see just how ready he was for therapy and it would be interesting for you to have a think about well what do you think is the likelihood that if Kevin was a real client that he would engage in therapy and what do you think are some of the big blocks and big pluses that he might do well or not in therapy. So on the one hand he's got a motivation that his wife will leave him and it looks like he believes her but on the other hand he doesn't see that his behaviour is a problem which also means that there isn't a shared conceptualization between the therapist and the client because the therapist obviously thinks that there is a large number of problems in his behaviour. So those are just some of the issues for you to have a think about.